Nathan here with Compnology. Today we are going to unbox this Cisco C9300. This is the 24UX model. So let's take a look. Now Cisco has their series of 3750, 3850. You'd think they'd have come up with the 3950, but they jump right to the 9300 series. And it's pretty much a direct replacement for it. So we have our stacking tables, mounting hardware, power supplies, power cords, uh, important reading material, uh, stacking cable, and this unit we got with uh, redundant power supplies. So here we're going to have both of our power supplies. And this is a 1100 watt power supply. There's two of them. Now this unit comes in a series, uh, 350, uh, 700, and 1100 watt. And the main reason for the higher wattage is because you can get power over ethernet on these switches. In fact, they come with PoE and some come with UPoE or the higher power. So you can power the higher end devices like the uh, 80211 AC units. You can even power some lights with that higher power. So let's get this baby out of here and take a look. Okay, there's the front of her and the back. Put that aside. Okay, so as you can see, this is the uh, 24 port version. Now, these guys come in a 24 port, 1 gig, 48 port, 1 gig. You can get the same flavors with PoE or UPoE. And then you can get them with multi-gig uh, speeds. And the thing about the multi-gig is they have the 2.5, the 5 gig, and the 10 gig ports. But if you want to get this guy with 24 10 gig ports without PoE, well, it ain't going to work. Once you go full 10 gig, they only have the PoE version. So again, this is the 24 uh, C9300 24UX. So we'll put these uh, power supplies in. They really click in pretty easy. Nice click, nice hard snap. And we'll take a look at the back here. First, this guy gets pretty heavy once you get those in. Now in the back, uh, we have, of course, our three fans, and these guys are hot swap, easy replaceable. Uh, of course, you have your, your out-of-band management port. Uh, here, Cisco has given a USB 3 slot. You can actually put storage in here, 120 gig storage. It's got an x86 processor. It's got memory. You put some storage in there, and you can actually run some applications, which is pretty nifty. Uh, of course, you have your um, power stacking uh, ports uh, here and then your data stacking ports here. Now you can data stack eight switches together, but you can only power stack up to uh, four switches, and at that point, you need to have a second set of stacking. And on the uh, front of this guy, of course, we have our, our little beacon uh, light. You can identify the switch if you're in a stack. Um, we have our USB-B console port, then there's this USB interface here. That interface, you can actually plug in a flash drive, copy data on or off, extract data off the switch. Uh, and then, of course, we have our status lights. Uh, make sure you know what's going on with the switch. Now, over here is our network module port. You've got a whole series of modules you could put in there, just like the 9300 or just like the uh, 3850 switches. In fact, some of those modules you can slide in here. They're compatible but check and make sure. But you can get uh, uh, one gig ports, you can get uh, 10 gig ports, you can get 10, 10 gig SFP ports, you can get 25 gig ports, you can actually get a interface with 2x, uh, 40 gig uh, ports on here. So you can get some pretty serious bandwidth. And these are a very high powered switch. In fact, on the back plane for stacking, you can get 480 gigabits of connectivity. Now you notice on the front of this, 
course, a 24 port switch. Uh, I'll probably show you a picture, but you have a little uh, symbol here called TE. Now that's Cisco's visual representation for 10 gig ethernet, not to be confused with how they do it in the GUI, but their 10 gig is their 10 gig ethernet. And one big question, it's really hard to find this, at least as of this video online, if all 24 ports are gigabit, because the 48 port multi-gig switch, one through 36 is a multi-gig up to 2.5 uh, speed, 2.5 gig, and it's, it's, 30, it's the last 12 ports, uh, 36 through 48, or 37 through 48, where you get the 10 gig interface. But on this C9324UX, all 24 ports are full 10 gig ethernet. So it's a really nice data access layer switch. Uh, in this particular one, we're gonna be doing two for redundancy. Uh, it gives you lots of expansion, lots of flexibility, super high powered, uh, and these switches actually support encryption switch to switch. You can do full NetFlow across all ports. Uh, you can actually do uh, SD access, some, some really high-end uh, connectivities with these switches. So Cisco did a beautiful job on these 9300 series model. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and happy clicking.